Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Synagogue Church and Parish. I'm your host, Servant of God, Prophet and Minister, M.G. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. Father, we love you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. People are going to get their touch down today. They're going to get their slice in, and they're going to win that soccer man. And whatever it takes, they're going to get themselves up when they fall, and they're going to win the game of life today, every day. They're going to they're going to get a home run. They're going to they're going to hit that ball far and 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 win, win, win. We thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. Amen. All right, we're going to go in the Psalms, the Book of Psalms, Tehillim, La Hagen, Be. Yeah, prof, prof, uh, 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 protect me, oh yeah, protect me, oh yeah. And we're going to go to Psalms, the book of Psalms, 16, 1 through 11, 17, 1 through 15. And it says, protect me, oh God, for you are my refuge. I said to Yah, you are my Yah. I have nothing good outside of you. The holy people in the land are the ones who are worthy of honor. And all my pleasure is in them. Those who run after other false gods multiply their sorrows. You, you, you want to serve false gods, the false gods of the politician, the false gods of your CEO, the false gods of Hollywood, the false gods of, of the car companies, the false gods. We can go on of all the false gods that are in America and Canada and through the world that you think there isn't. To such false gods I will not offer drink offerings or blood or take their names on my lips. You're not even supposed to take the false gods on their lips. And one of the most false gods are, is the Lord, which means Baal, doesn't mean Yah. Yah means power, but it says to go by his name, not take his name in, in vain. That means you're taking his name by in vain by going by titles that is not even his title out of the name. So stop taking God's name in vain and, and understand his name is Yah. And, it's, and you shouldn't be translated into titles, but as name, how would you like it if everybody translated what your meaning of your name and then got the title of what your name means wrong? And you, everybody said that all the time to you. How would you like it? They're taking yours in vain. So don't take God's name in vain. Don't take Yeshua's name in vain either. Amen. Yah is my assign a portion, my cup, your safeguard, my uh, share. Uh, pleasant places were measured out for me. I am content with my inheritance. I bless Yah, my counselor. At night, my innermost being instructs me. The innermost being, that's your soul and your spirit. Where, where Yeshua is in charge over. Amen. I always set Yah before me with, with Yeshua Shaddai at my right hand. Hello. I can never be moved. So my heart is glad. Your heart's got to be glad because it's good like medicine to the rest of you. My glory rejoices. My body too Rest in safety, for you will not be abandoned me to shield. You will not let your faithfulness one see the abyss. You make me know the path of life, the path of life. God lets you know the path of life, not the path of death. That's Satan that wants you to murder things in the wound all the way up. That's Satan. He's death. God is life. Go where life is and live in life. You make me know your path of life. In the presence in the Shekinah is unbound of joy. Yeshua, the Shekinah is unbound in joy. In the right hand, eternal delight. Amen. Here. Here is the just cause. Yah heeds my cry. Listen to my prayers. From honest lips, let your victoriousness come from you. 
Let your eyes see what is right. You probe my heart. You visit me at night. And you assign me with without fa- uh, finding evil thoughts. That should not pass my lips. As for what others do, by words from their lips. I have kept myself from the ways of violence. you got to keep the ways of violence away from you, nations, or get ready for the judgment of God. It doesn't matter who starts it. God will end both of you and your nonsense or you put on the people with stealing their monies for war or for drugs or for whatever. Woe unto you. My steps hold steady to your path. My feet do not slip. Now I call on you, O God, the Father, for you will answer me. Turn your ears to me. Hear my words. Show me how wonderful is your grace, Savior of those who seek at the right hand. The Savior of the right hand of God, Yeshua. Refuge for my uh, for for their foes. Protect me like the pupil of your eye. Hide me in the shadows of your wings. Now, some people say wings means prayer shawl. It does not. It means wings. That means the Father has wings, as it says, it has wings. So don't be nonsense about that. From from the wicked. Who are uh, assigning me from the deadly enemies who are all around me? They close their eyes and com- and their eyes of heart to compassion. They speak arrogance with their mouths. They track me down. They surround me. They watch for a chance to bring me to the ground. And they are like lions eager to tear their prey, like youth lions. Crunching the ambush. Arise, O oh yeah. Comfort them. Comfort us. Bring, bring them down with the sword of deliverance. D- deliverance me from the wicked. With, with your hand, yeah. The human beings and then the people, those portions are in life is the world. You fill their stomachs with treasures and their children with satisfying too. And they leave their wealth to their children, little children. You're supposed to have an inheritance for your children. It's saying there. But by the prayer and righteousness, a right standing with God, a right relationship with God and others, and the right wisdom of the Spirit of God, Yeshua, on you, is to see your face on walking. My May be satisfied with the vision of you. Amen. God may God show Himself to you and and bring you around 360 to a righteousness and goodness and help you and help us all, oh God, with the stupidity that's on the top. Judge them now, Father God. Judge these politicians now for what they have done. Judge these ministers on the top for what they have done. Judge the people that want to break our cities down. Judge them all, Father. Even if you could do it today, do it now. Judge the foul mouth of the world and, and slain their mouths and shut their mouths until they learn how to use their mouths in a righteous, good way. Let them all be mutes. May all the world foul mouth be mute until, until they humble their hearts and get right with the Father and get right with each other. May may hell open and, and swallow these, these lost cause politicians now. May hell swallow them up where they belong because they, all they're doing is, is hurting our fellow mankind. Father God, do these things in mercy for for the righteous and for the common people. I pray. Amen. Now, if you're not saved, pray this prayer. You're not not spirit-filled. Pray this prayer. Dear God, the Father, Yah, thank you for sending Yeshua in, in, that is your spirit, El Shaddai, into the flesh over 2,000 years ago to to be that living sacrifice, that perfect sacrifice. 
Lamb of God, the perfect red heifer, the, 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 the two goat sacrifice, and we were the goat who was set free, and he was the goat that was sacrificed, the two pigeon sacrifice. He was the pigeon that was that died for the pigeon that was set free, which is us. We thank you, Father, and we praise you, Father, for all these things. Thank you, Father, that you are healing us today. Thank you for your salvation now. Thank you right now that I'm born again. Thank you, Father, that I'm spirit-filled with you, Yeshua, today and every day afresh. Amen. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Holiness that brings peace to pass his own stand. Be with you as you go forth in victory every day. Get that home run. Get that slicer. Get that, get that touchdown every day. Live in righteousness. Live for God. Not live for selfishness of your flesh anymore. Live for who you are on the inside, that spirit, that soul, the real you. That flesh is the fallen you that you should not cater to at all. You should cater to the one that's in the inside of you, the real you. Just like the tank is not the operator. It's the it's either the persons or the person that's in there and or the, the computer system that make the run the tank. The tank itself cannot run itself without something greater within the inside. And so therefore that's the same way with us. This shell is the tank that how that houses the real us. And for too long the marketplace, the church and synagogue parish and the common people have been lied to that the flesh is all it is, and that is not true. That's the fallen estate. When you focus on the fallen state, all it brings is death. But when you focus on the real inner person, like the Bible says, your spirit and your soul, on the subject of the Messiah, Yeshua, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of life, then you, you go forth and you take command over that flesh and subject that flesh to the real you that's in the inside. Amen. Because your spirit being to have a soul that is is is, on, is uh, reflecting on the outside of you that is the flesh, they're not real you. And it's not even close to being what you really look, the beauty of each person looks like. It can never um, complement that. Because once, uh, once uh, before the fall of Adam and Eve, they had a spirit form and a super soul. And they ate of the forbidden fruit that is the nature of Satan instead of the nature of Yeshua, the Spirit of God, El Shaddai, which is the tree of life. And they ate of the nature of Satan. And so therefore, they, the form separated from their spirit and the, the separation of the spirit and the form, the form became carnal flesh. And the spirit dead into the family, being family of God, and the things of what its real nature is, and deadened to those things. And that soul shrank down to a common soul instead of a super soul that is, can do anything. And But now, through the cross of Calvary, he has redeemed us, redeemed us from the curse of, of what Satan brought in this world, through the, his tree of, of good and evil, of wickedness, and now we are symbolically with the tree of life, the nature of Yeshua. And that's why you have to have the fullness of his will in you. So it's not enough to just be born again. You must be spirit filled with Yeshua. That's the other half that nobody ever focuses on. That's why there's two kinds of righteous people. There's the lukewarm, the un unwise, that were just born again. And then there's the wise ones that were not only born again, but spirit-filled, and they followed their shepherds, the shepherd Yeshua, wherever he led, and were pleasing the Father's sight. And the other group, they weren't pleasing the Father's sight because they didn't have the will of, of the Father, which is Yeshua, on them. So they know the ways of the Father through the will that the Father sent his spirit of life, the Messiah Yeshua. And so they were unpleasing to both the God and Spirit, the, 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 the ones that are born again, that are lukewarm, 
compared to the wise ones that were not only born again, but the spirit filled. And they want to be pleasing in the Father's sight. They want to obey what Yeshua's commandments of, of pleasing the Father and in keeping his commandments in love and not in duty from Genesis to Revelation. That's the difference. And so may you always be spirit filled with the will of God, the, the spirit of God of life, the Messiah Yeshua, so you can know the ways through the will. And he's the will that shows you the ways of God. Amen. So God, congratulations. Welcome to family God. Uh, let me pray shalom over you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Holy brings peace to pass. It's all understanding. None is seven, none broken. Complete peace be with you. Shalom be with you. Wholeness that brings us peace. You need to be whole before you can have the fullness of what peace is. You can't just separate and say, I just want either wholeness or peace. They, it's a package deal. That's where, that's shalom. That's the completeness that God has for you. The will of God makes us whole so that we can expound on the peace that passes on and standing within the wholeness. And so, therefore, we're at peace because we have the wholeness within us. This is why the, the world can never be at peace. Because when you separate the fact of not having wholeness with the peace, you're, you're, you're only half of what it really is. Amen. Shalom to you. God bless. Till next time. Amen.